So when squatting, one of the joints that you really need to look at is the knee. And we got to ask ourselves, what is the knee doing? So I'm looking ideally to have the hip, the knee and the foot all in a straight line, in line like this. If the knee comes in, we call that a valgus collapse. And if the knee comes out, we call that a varus collapse. I would still call it a collapse. You're collapsing this way into your hip like this. So I'm pressurizing the back of my hip. And if I collapse my knee inward, I'm collapsing into my foot to stretch it out and use it to catch me and stretch out my knee and use it to catch me. When I get someone who comes in who already has a lot of lifting experience, they, they tend to predominate this knees out pattern, this varus pattern. And so if I'm trying to optimize biomechanics, right, I need to think about the knee. What is the knee good at doing? Well, there are three bones in the knee, two major contact bones, the tibia, the shin bone, and the femur on top. And they're really good at supporting each other when one is on top of the other. But when this stuff starts to happen, that's when the, the ligaments, the soft tissues in the knee, need to start picking up the slack. So when I see varus, I see a limitation in power, right? I can't put as much force through that knee if it's not stacked on top of itself. So when you're squatting down, if you're seeing your feet roll out, your arches come up off the ground, you, you might look like you're about to sprain your ankle, except you're going really slow, so you're usually okay. I wanna fix that, okay? And the biggest thing that I say there is just bring the insides of your feet down on the ground. If you look at any sort of squatting movement, the big key factor, one cue that you can take and you can fix a lot of things with is you just say, I want that foot evenly on the ground. I want your big toe down, I want your pinky toe down, I want your heel down, I want everything evenly. I don't want you to feel biased towards one side or the other. If you feel biased towards the outside of one foot and the inside of the other foot, hey, that means I'm shifting, okay? If I feel biased towards both outsides, that means I have a varus insides. That means I have a valgus. Okay, so all of this stuff comes into play. When you're squatting, again, to recap, feel the whole foot, push through the whole foot. If you can't do it, slow it down. If you still can't do it, lighten the load. If you still can't do it, hold a weight in front of you because it helps you figure it out. Until then, let me know if it works.